Hello you guys, welcome back. First of all, Merry Christmas. I hope you guys had a wonderful Christmas. The day that you see this is the day after Christmas. So hopefully you don't have to work today. Hopefully you have the day off to rest and recover from all the Christmas activities. But today I just want to kind of chit chat, talk about some goals I have for 2023. Honestly, this upcoming year, I am like the most excited for, like I've never really been more excited for a year, except I guess you would say 2021, which is when I got married. Um, but I don't know. I just feel like this year is going to be really life changing in good ways. Like there's going to be a lot of good life changes that's going to happen. Um, I feel like there's just a lot of things that I've been looking forward to that I feel like could possibly happen. I just wrote some like points or some goals down and I just want to share them with you. Um, if you guys have any goals or if some of your goals are the same as mine, let me know in the comments. Um, but yeah, let's just get started. So number one, and I feel like with every year this should be in there in my goals, um, but improving like my relationship with Jesus. Um, and with that, like improving, improving my quality time and, um, believing for the things that I'm praying for. So right now, um, if you've never been to my channel, I am a Montessori teacher. So I teach preschool. Well, they're two years old, so it's not quite preschoolers yet, but it's a Montessori. So we do, um, have like curriculum. We have a schedule. We teach the kids. So anyway, I have a pretty long day. So I work four days a week and my hours are eight to six. Um, so I also live 30 minutes away. So I wake up at six 30 and then I have about a 20 minute quiet time and then I get ready and then I leave by 7.30. So I have a pretty early morning. I have pretty early mornings, but I did want to prioritize at least having a little bit of a quiet time every single day because it really does get my day started. It starts me off on a good note, um, on a positive note, um, and it just wakes me up. It encourages me, and so I really have been liking it. But I'm not a morning person, so it is really hard to focus and to really encounter the Holy Spirit in that time. And plus, I don't have all the time in the world to spend doing my quiet time. I only give myself 20 minutes because honestly, realistically, I'm not going to wake up at 5 o'clock in the morning and do my quiet time for an hour because I really won't get any benefit from it if I'm waking up that early because I just, I'm not a morning person. So my brain does not turn on at five o'clock in the morning. So, um, but I do want to find a really good rhythm and a really good quiet time that I enjoy. Right now I'm kind of just doing devotionals on like the Bible app and um, writing prayers down, which I really love doing that. But I really want to find like maybe a, maybe a personal Bible study or something like that where I can really get engaged like in the Bible because right now it's kind of just devotionals um, and I really want to like d dive into like the word more and I'm not a part of like a Bible study right now or like a small group um, so maybe that would, could be another goal in 2023 is to like be a part of like a small group or something but yeah this one I really want to work on is believing for the things that I'm praying for so there's a lot of things that I've been praying for um, really ever since I became a Christian and a lot of those things haven't changed. The circumstances have changed and I haven't really seen a lot of results or a lot of like answered prayers in the things that I've been praying for. I really want to have better faith this year and really believe that like these things that I'm praying for will happen and not just, you know, hoping, but actually like believing that they are hundred percent true and that they will happen that God will provide and stuff like that. Number two, and I feel like this should be every year too, uh, but improve, improving my marriage. So the end of this year 
we started really making it a priority to improve our marriage because um, basically ever since we got married, we had been on separate schedules and kind of just being roommates, like not really living or acting like a married couple. Um, we didn't prioritize time together. We didn't prioritize really our marriage and we really already saw the effects of that in just a year. And so this year, um, if you've seen my shorts, my YouTube shorts, we started this ABC date night, which my friend Grace did with her husband right when they got married. And it really has improved our marriage already. And we've only been doing it for like three weeks. So um, this is something that I really want to continue doing and um, really investing in our marriage because ultimately, if our marriage is not solid, like when we have kids, that is going to even derail our marriage even more. And then like by the end of when our kids grow up, we're not even gonna know who we are or who we're with and I don't want that to happen. Yeah. Hi. Speaking of. What did I do? Come here. What did I do? I have crusty hair. I'm talking about my goals in 2023 and I said improve my marriage. Yeah. Like our date nights and stuff. Oh yeah. And need anything? I'm getting my stuff for a shower. Okay, hurry up. Picking out his undies. <laughs> Now he's picking out some probably sweatpants or shorts. Let's up a shirt, t-shirt that is not folded whatsoever. Oh, he's gonna wear the same shorts he's been wearing all day. Okay, bye. Bye. But yeah, just improving our marriage. And then also to go along with that, um, my third goal is to travel as much as possible. Um, 2023 is hopefully going to be the last year that we can travel alone or we'll be traveling alone or we'll be traveling as just the two of us so we are we are really trying to make an effort to travel as much as we can now obviously we are not rich and by any means and our jobs really don't let us travel all that much um especially his job he's a youth pastor so he's in the in ministry and so ministry is really hard because we have to be at church on Sundays because um sometimes it is hard because like if you wanted to do a weekend thing like we would have to leave on a Friday and then come back on like a Saturday night so um we're just trying to figure that out and see how we can make it work this year um but yeah just really prioritizing that or not prioritizing but trying to make it happen as much as possible but also we're I'm not trying to stress myself out because I do like routine and I do like making sure that I always have everything together. So sometimes traveling a lot can can cause me to get out of routine and stuff like that. So just doing everything in do everything in moderation. Next is this one isn't as like important, but I would really like to read a book a month this year. I don't really like reading. I would ne I'd never really choose to read books. Um, but as I've been getting older, I've been really wanting to read books that are informative and have a lot of information on things that I care about. So a lot of those, um, this past year I read a book on marriage, um, like a godly marriage and stuff like that. And so right now I am in the first chapter of a book about just like a Christian healthy pregnancy. And obviously I'm not pregnant, but I really want to be prepared for that time and not just prepared like health wise, but prepared like spiritual wise. And I'm a very, very, very big preparer, like preparation person. Like I want to be prepared a hundred percent. And obviously I know in my mind that I can't be prepared a hundred percent for that, but um, I really like to have the information. I really like to be as less anxious as possible and plus I have always dreamed about being pregnant and always dreamed about you know giving birth and stuff so the most I can inform myself the better um so I really would like to read 
those types of books this year so like one book a month I have a whole book list actually so I'm really trying to carve out time to read books whether that be at night during my break at work in the morning I don't know but I'm really going to have to see how I can work it out but I would really like to do that and then number five which I was kind of just talking about another goal is to put less on my plate slash make myself feel less stressed slash make my my life feel less stressful pretty much my whole adult, adult life I have been jam-packed with things I am a very busy person but I make myself busy like you know I have a job and then besides my job I have YouTube Instagram social media I have um I'm a youth pastor I'm a youth pastor's wife I'm a youth leader I do I'm a makeup artist I do makeup on the weekends so I keep myself very busy but this year and it might not be straight away but I would really like to start to slim down my schedule and um or somehow make a schedule that makes my life feel less stressful because I do not work on Wednesdays. I do not work my normal job on Wednesdays, but I do do social, that's my social media day. That's my cleaning day. That's literally like that day is jam packed. It does not feel like an off day at all. So I really like want to make that day feel a little bit more like an off day um, because this in 2023, I'm going to be taking a lot more weddings on Saturdays. So my Saturdays are not going to be in off days at all. So I would really like for me to have some sort of off day. Now Sundays are off days technically, but because I'm in, my husband is in ministry, I serve at church. I'm on the worship team. So a lot of times I'm doing worship on Sundays. So I still don't get to you know sleep in and stuff like that. But yes, that is... A goal for this year is to feel less stressed especially going into a different season of life possibly in 2023 I want to make sure I'm as stress-free as possible and then going along with that feeling less stressed I would still like to be staying consistent with my content on social media and working on my dreams you know right now my main source of income is not my dream job. Um, I do love it. I This is honestly the best job I've had, honestly, because I have nights off, I have weekends off, I have paid vacation, but ultimately it's not what I would love to be spending my time doing. So I'm really hoping in 2023 God opens a different door um, or somehow is able to let me do more of what I've been dreaming of. Um, and actually being able to make an income from that. I guess we'll see. And that also goes with point number one, which is believing for the things that I'm praying for. All right, now for the spicy goals. So number seven, in 2023, Jack and I are planning on buying a house. So we did make a video previously about some goals we have, I forget what that video was called, but I'll leave it right here. We did mention, I think it was the video of us telling you guys we were moving out of our apartment. We did tell you guys in that video that we are planning on moving into a house in 2023. So that is super exciting. Um, a little nerve wracking though, because obviously we've never bought a house before. We've never gone through that process. And so right now we are very fortunate to be living with his in-law, with his parents. So it's been really nice to be able to save money. Um, we're almost a month into living with them. And so we haven't really put anything into savings yet, but I'm really excited to really set aside some money for that. I've already started praying for is that house buying process because it is pretty stressful. At least it feels stressful for me because I've never done it before just something new and a big girl big boy decision we're planning on starting to look in the spring and summer probably more towards the summer but the nice thing is since we're living with his in-laws we don't have a time frame to move out so my vision is to be is to get a place i'm sure it's going to have some little things that i want to do to it 
And so that way, while we're kind of doing those things, we can stay here, move in when I feel like it's right. Because I really honestly do not want to be moving into a house that needs stuff done while we're living there. Um, I mean, obviously small things and things that like maybe we have to do in the future is fine. But like big, like painting, like I really want a nice kitchen. I really want a nice master bathroom like those things I would really like to do before we move in that way I can get all those things like how I like it first and then like the little other stuff like maybe a second bathroom or s other bedrooms or something like something like that can be um done later but lastly my number eight goal in 2023 is to be blessed with a pregnancy so obviously um, if you've been here for a while you may or, or may not have heard me say that I would really like to be a decently young mom um, I've always dreamed about having a having like my first kid at like 23 like that for some reason like was my age was the age in my mind i in my mind knew i wanted to have like two years to like be with my husband because i i knew like i was gonna get married young and so i really wanted to have a solid marriage before having kids that is just the dream that is the goal but ultimately i really do just want what the lord wants and even if that's really hard, even if, if that means waiting another year or two or whatever, like, I just want to trust in him and trust in his process and not be so hell-bent on my timeline. So, that is it. That is the goals I have for this year. Um, I really do think that 2023 is going to be a great year. I am really excited and hopeful for 2023. They're playing games right now. Um, but I hope you guys have a wonderful new year. I don't think I'm going to be seeing you until the new year, actually. Let's see. So I'll see you the day after New Year's. But, um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And make sure to follow me on my so other social medias. Make sure to follow me on my other social medias and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.